around 15 miles per hour. In Green Bay, lots of clouds, but there have been a few pockets of sunshine. The temperature is now 73 degrees. It's humid out there with dew points in the mid 60s, and we're looking at south winds at 15 to 25 miles per hour. So we had a large area of showers and a few rumbles of thunder move across the area during the morning and early afternoon. We've gotten into a break now here during the middle of the afternoon from the Fox Valley towards the lake shore, but there are a few more showers and thunderstorms now beginning to pop up here from just southeast of Wausau to near Wapaka and then south and east towards Fond du Lac. And as we zoom in here just a little bit closer, you can see some of these thunderstorms are producing some torrential downpours here across parts of southwestern Wapaka County. Now, high-res future radar shows that that line of showers and thunderstorms will continue to work east as we progress through the next couple of hours. And there's actually the chance that a couple of these storms could intensify to a level that would be considered strong to possibly severe. There is a marginal threat for severe weather now across the far eastern part of the NBC 26 viewing area, very roughly from about 41 east. And that is for the late afternoon and early evening hours. And that means one or two storms could potentially be on the strong to severe side with some gusty winds, some hail, and also some torrential rains. The satellite picture this afternoon shows an area of low pressure passing to our south. We have a trough extending north of that, and that's the trough that's going to move through the viewing area here over the next several hours, giving us that chance for a couple of showers and thunderstorms. Behind it, high pressure is building in across the northern plains. And underneath that ridge of high pressure with lots of sunshine, temperatures have warmed up into the lower 80s this afternoon, and that's the warmth that's going to overspread Northeast Wisconsin for tomorrow. So Saturday looks great. We're going to have mostly sunny skies. High temperatures will be in the lower 80s. Now, as